Hello Creative! It's your graphics girl of graphicsgirl.com. That's graphics with PH and S. Girl with no I and three R's. And I'm here with a quick tip to help you design your brand. Quick tip? Now quick tip videos are made to focus in like a laser beam on that one thing that you've been trying to learn in a program. This way you don't have to wade through long tutorials to get to that nugget, that one thing that you've been struggling with. But first, how would you like a free cheat sheet? I thought so. Head over to graphicsgirl.com to get your free Illustrator cheat sheet that will show you all the shortcuts in the program. Just click the link below. Just one of the reasons why I love Illustrator is that you have the ability to create outlines from your text. And by that I mean here, instead of the copy being editable, where you could come in and modify it, you have the ability to convert the copy to outlines so it's almost like it's artwork. Artwork like a shape that you could modify. So here I have some copy that I've laid out in this great font that I've been using lately called Blend Script. I'll link to it below. But here I have some copy that I've laid out. If I'd like to create this to be outlines, all I do is come to Type, Create Outlines. And when I do that, boom, it's as if the artwork has been outlined so that it is in fact a shape. Here I'm going between my outline and preview mode. In outline mode, I have the ability to see kind of like the skeleton underneath the body. So back in preview mode, command or control Y, I can see the actual colors. But once your text is outlined, it's no longer editable. So if you're going to convert your fonts to outlines, that's a, a convenient way to hand off your artwork to someone else who won't need the font. But if you need the ability to modify or change the copy, especially after you've handed it off to a printer, then you're going to want to keep a copy that's editable. So here I have my font that's been outlined and I'm noticing that it's grouped. By default, after it being outlined, may be grouped. So you could try to ungroup it, Command or Control Shift G, and see now you can segment out each individual letter. So one of the points in creating outlines of your copy is so that you can modify it. Now I could make changes to it so that it is more unique for application in a logo, for example. Another use is so that you don't need to hand off the font when you provide the artwork to your client. So what I do is I create an EPS file format for my outlined Illustrator files, and I keep an editable AI file so that I can make changes in the future. And that's how you create outlines in Illustrator. If you found this video helpful, give it a like. Hey! Share it with your friends and please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget, for free marketing, branding, and design resources, head over to graphicsgirl.com. That's graphics with PH and S, girl with no I and three R's. And I'm here to help you design your brand.